can we get rid of that darn PMI on your FHA loan? Well, that's what I'm going to talk about real quick today. But please take a moment and subscribe, like, and share this video because it really helps our algorithm and gets a lot of people to be able to see this. All right, so you have an FHA loan and you have PMI on it. Well, it's really technically called MIP for Mortgage Insurance Premium when it's an FHA loan. Uh, so I'm just going to use PMI as a generic reference because that's what everybody calls it. All right, now here's a really important date. If you got your mortgage before January of 2015 and you're still paying PMI, we need to talk because all the mortgages prior to that time should have naturally had the PMI fall off over if the, the right amount of time has passed on your amortization schedule and you got down to 78% loan to value. Now, the reason I'm saying that is because they will voluntarily remove it if the current value of your home relative to the balance you owe on the home shows that you have 20% or more equity in your home. Now, we have had so much property uh, appreciation here in the last two or three years, it is highly likely that when you do the math, you're going to be at 80% or less. Now, the math works like this. Let's say um, you have a $240,000 balance on your mortgage, and you divide that by the value of $300,000. Well, that works out to 80%. So... That, that protects the investor against your default on the mortgage. That's what PMI is designed to do, is to protect them. And once you get below 80%, they're protected. They're, they feel comfortable that you're not going to walk away from the mortgage in the house because you've got too much to lose. So if that is your case, you got your home prior to January of 2015, we should talk about that. Now, for those of you who got your FHA mortgage after January of 2015, if you do the same math that I just explained, let's say your uh, loan to value comes in even better. Let's say you're at 70% loan to value. Well, guess what? In January of 2015, FHA made the PMI permanent. You cannot get rid of it by asking them to remove it, by getting an appraisal on your home, they'll, they will be deaf. They won't hear anything about it. So the only way you can remove the PMI on your FHA loan is to refinance your loan. And I highly recommend that you consider it because some of you are paying uh, $150, $200, $250 a month for your PMI. And that's a lot of money. So it's really going to be worth your consideration, especially since uh, property values have dramatically increased. So refinancing in a loan where you're at 80% or below, it will definitely come off. The PMI will come off. And you're probably going to have an interest rate below what you had when you got your mortgage. So I uh, strongly encourage you to give us a call. Let us figure out how to help you get rid of that PMI. Uh, there's other creative things that we can do as well. So we're all here to help you improve the cash flow in your home, improve your household finances. So if you have any questions at all about this, do not hesitate to give us a call. Everybody here at the Wolf Group joins me in thanking for your time and have a great day.